Hi everybody, this is Random Terry and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. Um, we're going to get right into it because I want to show you what I got and maybe something that you like because I found things. Oh. <laughs> Alright, um, first up I bought <laughs> two gallons of my water. I know I can get it from Walmart but I was there and this was $1.25. And I forget how much it is at Walmart. I think it's about, right, the store brand. It's about the same amount. And I'm not placing a delivery order yet, so I picked up a gallon of water. Actually, two gallons of water. I'm not picking them both up because I'm just not. My arms aren't ready for all that. And then to get this out of the way, because it's another huge thing. Our house likes cheese balls. So we got cheese balls. Two bags. The other one was already broken into by my husband. So... Yeah, and they also make cheese puffs too, which I actually grabbed until I walked further down the aisle and then I found my, I found my balls. Yes, I did. So I got them. All right. Let's see. I was in, I contemplated over this. This is a huge bucket. I mean, this is pretty big. And I thought, eh. Yes, it's $1.25. And I hear there are other bu big buckets out there too, if you can still find them. I, they must have just put them out in my store when I went because this was like a couple stacks of these. And they had purple one that had, I forget, maybe a little haunted house or something around it. And the rest in peace. And I think, I don't know what the, um, the thing is that they had on it, which is maybe, I forget. But it was pretty purple, and they also had like a bright lime green one that had like bats and everything. I think that one said trick or treat too. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, but I bought it because, because Halloween. Any better reason than that? I don't know. All right, and then another favorite of mine that I didn't find at my other place, these coconut rolls. Is that what they call them? Coconut rolls are really good. They make it look like they're really big in the picture, but they're only maybe about that big. But they're good nonetheless. And um, this is a nice little bag. They have bigger bags usually at Costco. So this would be a good sized bag to try. If you want to try it and you don't want to like buy the whole big bag first, go to Dollar Tree. Pick yourself up a bag. Give it a shot. They're pretty good. They're coconutty. Let's see what they have in it. Let me see. I want to tell you because ingredients, coconut milk, tapioca flour, coconut sugar, sugar, egg, black sesame seeds, and salt. That's it. Pretty simple there. So I like them. Okay. And then moving along, I've seen their home style biscuit mix. Or Pillsbury, but I've never seen cheddar garlic, and that might just be me. But um, let me know if you've seen this before. But this seems like it's new to me. Of course, I haven't been in Dollar Tree for a while until recently, so this might have been around. But cheddar garlic, I mean, that just sounds good. I'm gonna make this for dinner one night, and I think I have a regular home style one in the cabinet too, which needs to get used. We'll see how these biscuits are because I usually use Bisquick to make biscuits, like biscuits and gravy and stuff. So, and then my ever favorite, I like these, they're not the spicy or sweet and spicy trail mix. What? This is not for you. I know you're trying to get my attention, little one. So, the sweet and spicy trail mix, this is good. I can eat the whole bag, although there's five servings in it. Yeah, I shouldn't do that. So, this I like, and it might be something that we might pass by, because it doesn't really stand out there to you, unless you're liking trail mix and you like, you know, looking at these things, but this is a good one, because it does, it's not real spicy, and I think I might have said this before, though, so, let's see, blended honey roasted peanuts, hot Cajun corn sticks, pretzel sticks, butter toffee peanuts. Honey roasted sesame sticks and roasted salted almonds. So the only spicy in there is the hot Cajun corn sticks. Dog's trying to get my booty over there. My booty. Like in pirate booty. So, 
Yeah, it goes in the bucket too. Yeah, no trick or treats for you, buddy. Oh, this might be for him, but I'm not opening it because I have one open already, but they like it really well. This Ashland Farms Dental Chews. Made in China, I know it is, but they like it. This one and my other dog like it. They're like little chews. They do have some for large dogs too, but this one's for small dogs. Um, I give one. It keeps them occupied for two minutes. <laughs> and uh, yeah. So, and I think it's, is it supposed to do something with the, no, no, doesn't say it. I think something else. Oh, proven to reduce tartar buildup. There we go. So, dollar twenty-five. there's quite a few in there, too. I can feel them. There's quite a few. And here's something that I want to try right now, because I, uh, I've seen these, but not this flavor. I've seen the mango peelers. I've not seen the grape or the gummy grapes. Peelable. Yeah, I have not seen, I've not had these. I've seen like people haul them, the mango peelers and stuff. I've seen them out there, but I haven't tried them myself. So let's do it. Oh my God, they smell. They smell like grape Kool-Aid, baby. Okay, we get one and I don't know what we're supposed to do with them. Are you supposed to peel them? I mean, the picture shows you you should peel them, right? But they don't look like they would be peelable. Oh, they do peel. Yeah, they do. Okay, you got to get it started, but they do peel. So if you want to play with your food, this is one to play with your food with if you haven't heard of these before. Yeah, you can't see this inside of it before you peel it. So I didn't know where it was. Mm. Oh, that's really soft inside too. They also had peach, mm, peach something, peach burst or something. They weren't peelers, but they were the Amos brand right next to it, and they didn't have the mango peelers, so they didn't get the mango peelers. Oh, no, no. And then a repeat buy, which you can't knock this for $1.25. It's one of those grabbery, grabby thingies. Can't even fit it. Oh, there we go. And, um, I'm not going to be able to pull this off right now because I didn't get, no. I didn't bring my scissors again. So these are really handy, um, especially when I'm playing with the dog and I don't want to reach down all the time. Shush, baby cakes. Yeah, I love you too. You just gotta be in everything, don't you? So this, is handy when you're playing with the dog. I can pick up his little, little toy and fling it and I don't have to keep bending over in my back if my back hurts and stuff. Lately, I have been bending over and picking it up and stuff and throwing it, but his, um, I've been doing that to kind of help my back, but when it starts hurting, it's kind of hurting today because the weather outside. That's why my hair has got poofed out, so I pulled in ponytails today because it's humid. It's kind of rainy. Okay. This is not quite a repeat buy, but I have bought this before. I'm just trying the blue raspberry. I like the one that's like blue and green. Really pretty, it fades into it, and it's like tropical punch. That one I like. Blue raspberry, I don't know if I've tried this before, so I just picked up one can to taste. And this is like a, it's the sparkling ice. It's kind of like that sparkling water, flavored sparkling water, those plastic bottles. But this has caffeine, and I believe it has vitamins in it. Vitamin E. B6, niacin, which is a B, vitamin B12, biotin, panth, pantothenic acid, and I think 70 milligrams of caffeine per can. There we go. Made by a talking rain beverage company. 
So, and only five calories because that's zero, zero sugar. So I'll try that. Those are, that's the other one was pretty good. So I can't imagine why that one would be, wouldn't be. All right. Then I came across something else with, which might not be cost effective, but I first saw, let's get the around this way. I saw this one. These are like hot cocoa K cups, right? But this one's Tootsie Roll flavor. Flavor? Tootsie Roll Premium Hot Cocoa, naturally and artificially flavored. And there's three cups in there of hot cocoa. So my husband likes Tootsie Rolls. And I thought, if I can save this for Christmas, it'll go in his stocking. Because it's just a little three pack for $1.25. Uh, I don't know if that's real cost effective, but it's it's kind of fun. They had a whole bunch of these for, you know, they even had some of these further up at the counter somewhere. They had like them in two spots, so. And then I went and I saw, oh, Junior Mints. So that's kind of cool. Hot cocoa, Junior Mint hot cocoa. So I'm almost dying to see how these taste. So, and there's a good Best Buy date. This, uh, they're both pretty close. Where are they, where are they? I'll read the Junior Mint, because I can see that one. Best Buy 8, 7, 2026. And the other one's like 8, 9, 2026, yeah or 9, 9, 2026, 20, something like that. So they do have a ways out. So let's just look at the thing. <sighs> Good, I didn't rip it. it. Probably just looks like a cake up. Yeah. I can't smell it because it's sealed. But yeah, just a little cake up goes in your cake up thing. You and your mints. Yep. Three of them. Yep. So that'll be kind of fun to try. Let's pop those in there and cover them up with the doggy things. Okay. Then something else. Oh, excuse me. Pardon me. I'm so sorry. Okay. Then something else that I have not seen, and I thought it might have been out there. I just might have overlooked it. Have not seen these before, but they are microwave steam bags. You put your veggies in there. So they're uh, freezer to plate cooking bags. Extremely lightweight and easy to use. Use safely for microwave steaming. Um, you place your food and seasonings in the bag. You close and seal the bags firmly. Place the bag over the microwave with indicated side up. I think they meant in the microwave, not over. Um, and set the watts, minutes required. And the bag will uh, inflate during cooking in the microwave. Heated air can safely escape through the valve. So I guess there's a valve. I'm gonna open this. Wait at least 30 seconds after cooking to handle the bags. So, yeah. Let's see. Ooh, that ripped very easily. Thank you very much. You're easy on my hands. Come along. It's a Ziploc. Come on. There we go. And there's how many bags in it? Six. Okay, thanks. I'm probably just using all the Ziploc bags. But I guess these supposedly have a valve. Let's see. Take one out. No, it's a gravy dog. Okay, not not so small. Open it there. Okay, and it tells you how much um, to cook things for, like a uh, food: asparagus, broccoli, carrots, fish, shrimp, chicken, hot dogs. 
Wow. And how much? How many you put in the bag? And how much? How long to cook them? Cool. And fresh or frozen? Half bag, full bag? Cool. It gives you all the stuff. Let me see that without the glare. Very handy. And I think there is a valve. Like right... Somehow, somehow there's a little valve. It says it right there. Valve, 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 and on the other side too. So I guess there's some sort of little vents on this side. And then your Ziploc on the top. Worth a try. Of course, you know, I could just get a microwave pot. My little plastic microwave thing. Put it in. Slide, baby, slide. Whatever. Put you in there later. In a minute. Okay, and then oh, two things that I really had to get. I didn't need them, but I think one I'm going to give away. Um, this one is Delta Hand Home Delta Home Hand Soap, but this is warm vanilla, and I smelled it, and it said, "Take me home, take me home." So this does have a. It does have a, like a vanilla, kind of a sweet vanilla, but kind of warm, like they said, warm vanilla uh, fragrance to it. So this is good. I don't know how it works for cleaning or how harsh it is on your skin, but let's see, does it have water? Thank you, Cosmo. Made in Canada. Good. Cool. The Right Solutions Corporation. Deer Park Boulevard, Brampton, Ontario. And it just... Oh yeah, vanilla, plant, something, fruit, extract. There's aloe, something, leaf, juice. All right, and I like that label. That label almost looks like it has a leather um, texture, but it's not dog. It's farting. Okay, and then, okay, I told you this one too. This, I, I've seen this out there before. I mean, I walk past them and I've seen people haul them. Um, and I don't know if it's like a dupe for something. I'm not quite sure. If it is, but these, and they had at my store two other fragrances. One was cucumber mint and the other one was peach rings. I smelled the peach rings. They smelled like those peach jellies. It smelled like it. Cool. The cucumber mint had the minty. I have not my fragrance. I mean, it doesn't smell bad, but it's not my fragrance. But this one I smelled. Oh my gosh. I had to get this one. I'm going to be bathing in this and literally bathing in it because it is body wash for $1.25. Let's see. 15 ounces. Yeah. Hopefully a lather up. I'm guessing that the fragrance might not stay very long, but um, yeah, I'm going to try that. It's like a bargain. Bargain. All right. And then I found these. I, I don't know if these are new, but these are kind of cool. These are body wash pen. Pens, cotton candy, oh, cotton candy scent, grape scented, apple scented, and berry scented. And I guess you pop the seal off underneath. I think they all had their seals on. I didn't look. Yeah, they all had their seals on. And then you open this up on the top, and then it squirts out probably like a little, like a mustard container. You squeeze this, and you're right. And I guess there's colors in there. It's a color. So for kids, so. Yeah. 
colorful bath fun. Let's see, what does it say? Mm -hmm. I thought it said something. Directions, remove inner seal, replace cap, hold pen, and gently squeeze to release body wash. Enjoy coloring on tub walls and washcloth. Rinse skin with warm soapy water to remove color colorants after bathing. Yeah, unless your kid comes out. And these are the only four colors I saw, but these seem like they're going to be fun. Yeah, for kids. Or if you take a bath with another adult, this could be fun. Um, just saying, come on. Um, you're two consenting adults, what the heck. So, I thought they were pretty. I saw one of them out of place and I was like, oh man, if they had more of these. And then I looked and there was a whole box full of them. I was like, okay, grabbing those. And I'm not opening them right now to squeeze it out because these are gonna go to my kinfolk, little nephews, kids. Let them have fun with that. All right, and then I found a unicorn. Okay, last haul, if you watched it, you saw me haul this. Okay, and we like this. We meaning me and the mouse in my pocket. Yes, okay, after the alcohol goes away, it smells good because I sprayed it in the store, walked past, had to go back, get it because I kept smelling it. So that's good after that dries down, right? And I saw a bunch of these, and then I walked by it. I thought, oh, let me get some more. And then I walked by, you know, they're all filled out to the f end of the shelf. But then when you walk by it and you see what's behind it, the Brazilian mist. Yeah, and I have not smelled this, but I bought. And we'll smell it. Not one. Not two. Not three. But four. Four Brazilian mist. Cosmo. And let's see. Let's spray this on my other arm here. I'm glad you're on this side. Oh. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Big alcohol whiff. Oh, that definitely has to dry down. Because that's good. Not as nice as I thought it would be. I like the soft floral better. And maybe it's just my sniffer right now. Let me try again where I can actually smell it. Like the back of my hand. And let's let it dry. If not, I got four of them. still wet. That is better. Okay. I just got a big whiff of... That is good. So I was kind of shocked that I saw them. And maybe I shouldn't have bought four, but there was quite a few left, so... Nice. But I still like... I think I still like the floral better. Just saying, you know. Oh, I'm getting it now. Okay. Oh, man. That smells like the bum bum cream. Because I have some little thing of the bum bum cream, and this smells like it. Okay. Yeah, now I know what people are saying. It does, it's a good dupe for that. Sol de Janeiro number 68. Yeah. All right. Then my last item here was... I bought, I found these. They had a whole display box of them. Um, they had the Hydrating Moisture Micro Sculpting Cream and they had the Hydrating Night Cream. 
yeah. 1.36 ounces on both of them. One's fragrance free, the other one doesn't say. Um, and they also had a tubes of um, stuff you wash your face with. Cleansing cream, jeez. Or cleanser, creamy cleanser, something like that. Hydrating cleanser, maybe? I didn't get that. Maybe I should have, but I kind of have some cleanser that I like already. And I have enough of it, so let's see. Not that big of a jar. There, does that show you a little bit more what it's like? Ow. Let's, this is the, yeah. Oh yeah, has one of those little things on the top. Very nice. And there's a little bit of cream right there. Okay. So, sniff test. I do not smell anything. And it's hard to smell because I sprayed my arm with this other stuff, so. But. Oh, it feels, ooh, it feels good. Hmm. Kind of dries down really nice. Does my hand look prettier? No. It feels good. Compared to the other one. Yeah. Yeah. Virtually no scent to that. That I can smell because, you know, I have that other stuff in my nose. Can you see it up there? Yeah. So let's try the night cream. I mean... There are a lot of people buying the night cream. Oh, and this is supposed to be dupe for, it says right there, compared to Olay Regenerous Micro Sculpting Cream. And this was compared to Olay Regenerous Night Recovery Cream. It says it right there on the package. And I think that Olay Regenerous is also in red, um, red jars, red boxes. So they really kind of made it. Hey, that dog. This one has a little blue, uh, which is nice. This has a blue lid. The other one has white. Day, night. So if you take your glasses off at night and you want to know which one to put on, or even during the day because you're going to be putting on the stuff without your glasses on, you know which is which. Which is funny. I have some shampoo and conditioner in there that I need to put an S and a C on because I have to put them in order so I can tell what they are in the shower. <laughs> and that one has a nice little top on it too. No, this one didn't get anything on that. Good. Oh, this is like a different consistency. Oh, okay. Not much though. It just seems more like gel-like kind of. Hmm. Night cream. Just slather that. It doesn't take much. That's why they're small jars. Nice. Hey, what are you doing? Don't eat my rug. Stop licking the rug, you rug licker. Stop. 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 Thank you. Leave him alone. So, that's it. Leave him alone, Cosmo. Leave him alone. So that is my haul for you, and I'm going to be trying these out. Very nice, very nice. Um, and if you consider subscribing, liking, give me a thumbs up, let me know what you think about these things in a comment below. Um, I'd appreciate that. And that is my haul for you for today, for tonight, today, whatever it is. Hope I didn't give you too much glare in my ring light. I have it off to the side so it's not like right in front of me because I have my dining lights on too. So over there to that. Okay, bye.